Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so that way you'll be notified of my latest videos. Also follow me on Medium, uh, Crypto Jetta. I actually just dropped a new article which I'm going to talk about today. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash Crypto Jetta. And you can also view my website, CryptoJetta.com. So today I'm going to talk about the Drip Garden and how you can use it as leverage for the upcoming drip drop draw ddd uh, utility that's in the works so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to actually go over this article with you guys all right so <clears throat> forex recently recent ama went over the ddd white paper he released to the public there's no hard set date release date as of you know this date but now is the perfect time to prepare for participation. He explained the deposit side of the white paper to understand DDD tokenomics. I gave a link to the white paper in this article so you can just click on it and it'll instantly take you to it. So the light bulb went off in my head. If you read my first medium, medium article, which I dropped a video last week on my full drip network, full ecosystem blueprint strategy. Uh, you can go back to my main channel here, and it's right here. But anyway, um, I was explaining the drip network eco strategy, and you know that I mentioned that I use a 50 50 approach on the drip garden side. So, in other words, I claim the drip BUSD LP every day for my garden by putting 50% back into the garden and sending 50% to the drip BUSD LP form. So, let me see if I can. Pull that up for you guys real quick and show you what I've been doing on the progress of that. So let me go ahead and connect this wall real quick. And then go into farms. See, so I don't even worry about these personal earnings right now. Um, that's just the personal earnings that I'm earning and dogs. I'm not worried about that right now because I'm busy trying to stack up my drip BUSD farm. As you can see now, I have 92. LP and when I go here let's see to drip tools do, 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 do. my garden is still printing guys I'm making around 11.19 LP per day I have almost close to 1.7 billion plants so we still printing on this front end around by 8 at 8 a.m. I'm going to go ahead and claim today's LP put 50 50 percent back into the garden and put the other 50 percent back here so by the end of today I should have around close to about 97 98 LP and we're just gonna keep going uh, this weekend I'm probably gonna release another drip network vlog uh, post where I show you uh, strategy five on my well step number five which is last day of every month withdraw 25% from the drip BUSD LP form split it put the drip in the faucet and buy drip with BUSD to deposit into the faucet so I'm going to actually buy drip with the BUSD from the split um, LP that I get since it's almost the last day of the month um, with, I think the last day of the month is on Friday let's see yeah it's on Friday the 31st March 31st so so stay tuned for that video but anyway going back to the main video here with well, the main topic of today so in DDD the deposit side of things you can use your drip garden to participate in DDD to build up your faucet you can also earn bonus tickets for a chance to earn more drip if you're a winner. Even if you don't win, you still have something to deposit in your faucet. It's an excellent idea if you ask me, so let me explain. So if we click on this, just to understand, I'm not going to fully go over this. Um, most of y'all should have already read this. There's other YouTubers that fully talk about this. But like I said, the biggest thing that you know appealed to me on this idea here, so as you can see here, tickets are pegged to a dollar BUSD and players can earn as many times as they like 
There is an incentive uh, 20% bonus tickets provided to players entering with fresh BUSD or BNB capital, right? That was one important thing, you know, that appealed to me. And then right here, when you look at it, the 75% of the drip deposit, new drip deposit for the player, right? And then the rest goes for, you know, the, the main prize, the runner-ups, the biggest depositor prize, biggest sacrifice prize, et cetera, et cetera, right? Dev fees, all that, which is cool. So, so here's the steps to how to leverage the drip garden for DDD. So step one, create a new wallet dedicated to drip drop draw. So I would recommend starting a new wallet for drip drop draw, you know, just, you know, building a garden from that. So that way, like if you have like a main uh, wallet that, you know, has a lot of drip in it, you know, and it has a lot of funds into the animal farm or whatnot, uh, I wouldn't recommend like mixing that with that just start a whole new wallet, start a whole new garden just dedicated to drip drop draw, you know? So, um, you can follow my 50-50 strategy and figure out a schedule of for when to withdraw. So for example, if you make 10 LP per day from the garden, you will deposit, what you can do is you can deposit five LP into the farm. So that way, that's if you want to store it to generate dogs, you know? Otherwise, you can just hold it into your wallet so that way you can save up on fees or whatever. Now, say if you wanted to play DDD once a week, you would have around 35 LP by the end of the, the week. So, you know, uh, five times seven days is 35 LP, right? And then you can see 35 LP times the current price of drip BUSD, which, which was back in the 26th. Of March was around two dollars and fifty-seven cents. I think it done dropped now a little bit. Uh, let's see how much it is now. Let's see if I can find it. Actually, no, it increased around two dollars and fifty-nine cents, um, which is impressive. I think uh, the contract balance went up. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, so many, so much stats on this uh, website, but I really love this website here. Let me see contract balance. Oh, here it is. Uh, two hundred thirty-nine thousand. So yeah. Um. So it's two dollars and fifty-nine cents currently. So it's increased since the twenty-six. So going back here. So thirty-five LP times the current price of drip USD, which is around two dollars fifty-seven cents, is around eighty-nine dollars and fifty-seven cents worth of LP. So step two, you will split the drip BUSD, send the drip to the faucet, and then you will buy DDD tickets with BUSD. So now you can split the LP, throw the drip in the faucet, they'll leave you around $44.87 BUSD to play with on uh, drip drop draw. So you, when you split, it's 50-50. You get 50% drip and 50% BUSD. You see where this is heading. So when you buy, DDD tickets with BUSD or BNB, you get more tickets in the form of, of a bonus of using those, you know, tokens. And as Fort Sharp said, uh, 20, 20%, going back here, there's a set of 20% uh, bonus tickets provided to player entering with fresh BUSD or BNB capital. And when you split the LP, I mean, that's pretty much considered as fresh capital. You know what I'm saying? So. Now, say if drip costs a dollar and you use $44 BUSD to buy drip, this will grant you around 44 drip. However, only 75% will be applied towards your drip faucet and you will receive the 20% bonus tickets for DDD. So as I said, when you do the faucet side, faucet side uh, deposits instead of just a sacrifice because when you sacrifice uh, nothing's going into your fa to your faucet it's going to be sacrificed instead so the strategy is strictly only for the faucet side deposits 75 percent of that drip that you buy goes back to you which is impressive i love that i love that feature so step three this is optional you can use a claim strategy from your faucet to feed your garden 
So once you get a decent amount of drip in your faucet, you know, you can use a claim strategy, the six and one, five and two, 21, seven, whatever that you feel is appropriate enough to buy back into the garden to feed your garden to gain more daily LP. Now, I just added this step three this morning um, because uh, I wasn't really finished with this article, but I'm fully finished now, I think. I just had to add, it, add this step three here, which I think totally makes sense because if you think about it, everything is a repeated process. So what you're doing is you, you know, you're taking that drip, splitting that drip, putting that drip into your faucet, then later down the road, claiming from that faucet to buy more plants for your garden so that way you can make more daily LP so you can have a higher da daily LP balance because like I said in the end when it comes to gardening this is the most important thing this, this right here this daily return this don't really matter this is what matters right so yeah just use a claim strategy to feed your garden to gain more daily LP because the more daily LP that you make the more that you could use towards DDD so that is all you will notice how fast your faucet will grow doing this method but just by leveraging your garden so if you like this article please follow me for future articles and then I have my links here you know to follow me on YouTube Twitter and telegram so you guys yeah that's pretty much it that's just pretty much the idea of how to leverage your garden I'm going to be doing this actually I'm going to start a whole new wallet sometime next week just want to get enough uh, funds to um, start a second garden. I only have one main garden, and it's just and it's this one right here, what I told you here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be starting a uh, second wallet here soon, uh, doing this strategy. I really think it's going to work pretty well, and I and I will definitely keep you guys updated, you know, on the progress of that closer towards the launch of DDD like I said we don't have a date just yet but hopefully soon in a future AMA Fork Shark can deliver the date for us so with that said that is the end of this video guys if you like this content please like 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 share with other people and thank you guys for the support you guys have a blessed one see you later peace